Hi everybody, here's another Yoda's News video review. Today we're taking a quick look at the Uncle Milton Star Wars Science Remote Controlled Lightsaber Room Light. So we're going to go ahead and unpack it, get rid of the twisty ties, get our batteries together. You will need five AAA batteries for this project, and we'll be right back. Just some brief info about the kit. Basically what you'll get in here is two hilt halves, a battery pack, an electronics pack, an exterior cap, a wall mounting bracket, the blade, the remote, some hardware, and the ability to choose different colors. All right, the first thing you'll notice when you open up is the instruction booklet and also educational poster. This poster lists all of the different components of the lightsaber, as well as the type of focusing crystals, the colors, how electricity works, battery works, things like that. Something you could uh, put in a frame or put up in your room if you'd like. And on the flip side of it, are all the instructions for constructing your saber. All right, our first step is to put three AAA batteries into our battery pack, and Gabrielle is doing that right now. She's just finishing up the last one. All right, once you have that complete, the next step is to go ahead and pick up the electronics pack and put it into the housing. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that, which is right here. And we have to get this particular piece which is translucent, you can see through, it looks like the sound chip is in there as well, and that has to get lowered into this piece here. Then after that, the battery pack is then inserted in that area. So I'm gonna put the camera down for a moment. Get All right, once you have that set up, it's only one way that it goes in there. Um, then you'll notice just by touching it, changes colors there. Um, here's where you're going to need your small screwdriver. There is a small retaining screw that's in the bag. Now it is located in the bag with your wall mount. So even if you haven't planned to screw this onto the wall, make sure you don't toss that bag away because the little retaining screw you're going to need is in there. And that's going to go right in this location here. And All right, right after back. you get that screw in, the top plastic part just snaps on and just test before you move forward. When you push the button, you should get sounds as it switches through, cycles through each color. All right, and then the bleed, there is no lock, it just basically slips right in there, and uh, there you go. We'll go through the cycle of all the colors and the remote control in a second, take it into a slightly darker room. The piece to assemble is just the remote control, and we just had to use our screwdriver again, screw out the nut, put in two triple A's, and that is the remote control for our saber, which is already starting to work. Very cool. All right, we're gonna move to a darker room and uh, show also you. I wanted to add one other piece. It actually has a nice way to walk, mount to the wall. Um, using the supplied anchors and screws, you get this plastic piece, put it on the wall where you'd like, and then it actually slides and fits right onto the back of this, which will allow you to take this on and off the wall if you'd like, if you wanna put it on a desk, if you wanna take it, if the child or your collector wants to move it somewhere else, you can easily do that while the wall mount stays in place. All right, we're here in the hallway to the collection room, so we can give you a show of how it works. Gabrielle's in control of the remote, and as you can see, the room, you initially have to power it on by pushing the button on the front. And once it's powered on, you can use the supplied remote control, and you can switch from nine different colors. You can see it powered up and powered down with the remote. It's about, I guess, a little over two feet long when it's completely assembled. The sounds are good, they're crisp. It's actually very bright. We'll go ahead and make it completely dark in here so you can see. So I'm just gonna move it around a little bit and you can take a look and see that it does put off a fair amount of light. be good use for a night light as well. So that is the Uncle Milton lightsaber light for your room. I'd like to thank them for giving us a sample to review. We have a few more of their products to review coming up and uh, thanks for watching.